Hello, welcome back to Algebra. We're going to learn about some additional properties. Again, some of these things, when I explain them to you, they, they seem very simple, and they are simple to understand. But when you're reading them in your book, sometimes not so easy to understand. We have this property called the associative property. And um, a lot of students look at this and they're like, what does this mean? But once I break it down for you, it's extremely easy to understand, and uh, it will make a lot of sense for you. So we already talked about what a real number was in the last section. A real number is just any number you can think of that's on the number line, positive, negative, or zero. Uh, decimals, fractions, whole numbers, any number you can dream up is basically a real number. The only time it's not a real number is if it has imaginary, uh, if it's an imaginary number, which has the letter I in there. We'll talk about those later. So the associative property is going to involve three numbers, A, B, and C, and they all have to be real. So basically, this is basically setting it up and saying, hey, uh, we have three numbers, A, B, and C, they're all real. What does the associative property say? And it says the following. I'm going to write it down for you, and then we'll explain it. Parentheses, A plus B plus the third number, C, is equal to A plus parentheses B plus C. All right, now a lot of students look at stuff like this, and they have no idea what it means. Because when you first look at it, you're like, okay, so there's some parentheses here. All they did between here and here is they took these parentheses away, and they put them over here. Somehow that thing is called an associative property. Okay, great. And you flip the page, you don't care. What the associative property is telling you is that you have three numbers, A, B, and C. Notice they're all added together. But when you have the parentheses here, it's forcing you, because remember, we talked about order of operations. When you have parentheses, you have to do what's inside the parentheses first. So when the parentheses are here, you have to add A and B together first. That gives you this answer, and then from that, you to that you add the number C. Now that's going to give you some answer, okay? 